What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel. My name is Joshua Daniel George, a social media marketing online coach and in today's video slash video series because this is going to be episode one of a four part series uh, you can basically watch me build a Facebook campaign for e-com clients. No I don't waste no time. So guys, welcome to the video and like I said in the introduction, today you can watch me build a top of funnel campaign for an e-com product. Now before we begin, this entire series, I think it'll be four videos, it depends on how I structure it, um, is for educational purposes only. I do not have a client, uh, well I do actually have an e-com client, I've got multiple e-com clients, but for the products that we're going to be setting up, uh, I do not have a client that has this product. We are literally just gonna go and find a product on Google, um, find a website that we can use as a sort of, um, you know, basically a base you know, to what we build our campaigns off of, but it's completely for educational purposes only, okay? Um, I will be setting these up with basically minimum effort, you know, so I'm just going to be going through the motions, showing you guys how you can do it, um, but obviously, you know, you need to put a lot more thought and effort into it, etc. and when you set up the campaigns, of course, you need to be um, constantly, you know, tweaking and monitoring the data and so on and so forth, okay? So, with the disclaimer out of the way, let's get started. So, uh, just so we're all on the same page, um, this is our funnel, so this is our e-com funnel, there we go. Um, and then, of course, at the top of the funnel, we have TOF, the middle of the funnel, as you already guessed it, MOF, and then the bottom of the funnel, we've got BOF. Now, depending on where our customer is in the buyer's journey, we are going to speak to them in a different way. So at the top of the funnel, as you can already see from the funnel, this is much wider than the bottom of the funnel, which means that we talk broader to this person, okay? We speak to these, this person um, as if it were actually a new person, whereas at the bottom of the funnel, we can speak to this person in a different way because the person at the bottom of the funnel already knows about our brands, already knows about the website, already knows about the product and so on and so forth, okay? It's like when you get to know someone or when you first introduce yourself to a new person, you stay, you know, basically with the first encounter, you stay very generic, you know, hi, nice to meet you. You know, you don't really go in very much depth and detail. And then when you get to know that person a bit better, you release your inner child and you know you have like nicknames for each other you give each other a bit of stick a bit of banter going back and forth etc and you know you basically act in a different way because you've already warmed up to that person uh, than when you met that person for the first time okay so same goes for me you know if you meet me for the first time i'll probably be quite polite and then when we get to know each other a bit better you know you'll realize that i'm a uh, a very childish and annoying, irritating person. But anyway, moving on. In terms of the middle of the funnel, obviously you've had that first encounter with that person. Um, you basically, you know, remind that person, oh, you know, you were on the website before and so on and so forth, okay? So depending on where that person is in the flow, you speak to that person in a different way. What we're going to be focusing on today is the top of the funnel. So getting that person onto the website for the very first time. What we could do, if we've got time over, I will show you guys how to set up the middle of the funnel, um, but that is basically you know, where we're going to lead the series out. We're going to just you know, briefly go over the top of the funnel, how we can get people into this funnel you know, in the first place, how we're going to do that, um, especially now with all of the changes that are occurring um, you know, with Facebook, etc., with everything that's going on. What is basically, you know, the most up-to-date version on how to do this as opposed to, you know, what a lot of people have been doing previously, just driving a bunch of traffic to the website and hoping that someone ends up purchasing and then retargeting people, etc. Okay, so this is basically how we're going to do it. Then in terms of the product, um, like I said, I'm not going to be doing a specific product from you know, one of our clients, but I'm actually going to be doing a very complete new product. So we're also going to be using my own business manager for this, um, not an existing business manager from one of our clients. Um, so complete fresh business manager, lucky number 30. Um, as you can also see, we've got no custom audiences or anything like that set up. And then the product um, that we're going to be doing for today's video is the following. Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's something like Galaxy Light. 
and it's something that I have been getting bombarded with on my Instagram and my Facebook for the last week or so. I don't know if it's got something to do with Christmas um, or anything like that. It's the 28th of December at the time of recording this, so Christmas has just been, and all along this Christmas period, I've just been getting bombarded with um, this Galaxy lamp, basically, and... I'm not sure if it's the, 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 exact, the exact same one every single time or there's different ones out there. All I know is you can get it on AliExpress. So quick little mention if um, you know you do get some kind of advertisement from that Galaxy Light. Um, I've seen, because obviously I do, out of interest, I click on a lot of ads, um, Galaxy Lights. If you see them for anywhere more than 20 euros or 20 pounds, just quickly go to aliexpress.com or Alibaba and as you can see here, you can get them for as cheap as like 15 or 20 euros. So don't fall for any of the marks and tricks. Um, you know, it's basically a very cheap product from China, but that is what we're going to be using for today's um, video or you know, for this video series, I should say. So in terms of the structure, it might be good to add um, video number one. Let me just quickly increase the size of my uh, pen. There we go, pen size one. Zoop. So video one, which is this video, is just an introduction and the product. Product, there we go. And then video two is going to be basically the start of the funnel, right? So how are we going to set everything up? Um, how are we going to make sure that the tracking is set up correctly? What metrics do we need to look at? And so on and so forth, okay? So we'll just call this uh, funnel plus events. Then for video number three, um, we'll just call this campaign and ad sets. Why? Because I'll be showing you guys what campaign to set up, how to structure the ad sets and so on and so forth. Um, and then should we do four or five? Let, let's do four, right? I'd rather do like four good ones than just try and like drag this out for as long as possible. So um, the advertisements, so campaign, ad sets in video three and then ad sets or ad sets. In video four, we'll do the ad. Um, plus, what did I mention before? The middle of funnel. So I explain how to set up the middle of funnel. Okay, so this is basically how this video series is going to be structured. Um, in terms of the, you know, this video, you know, we've got our product, which is the Galaxy Lite. We've got our ad account, which is ad account 13. We've got no custom audiences, which we can set up later. Um, then in terms of what we need to look out for when setting up campaigns like this, we will be going into the actual campaign in video number three. But just generic overview of an e-com client, because this is actually the first time I'm doing an e-com video on um, basically on you know, free content on YouTube. You know, usually this is um, stuff for my paid traffic programs. Um, and of course, we did the challenge um, during the Christmas period, which for those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about was basically a challenge. Um, to improve your media buying skills. So everyone who already has a client within the e-com space, um, you know, we, Erin and I, which is why I say we, uh, we're basically doing like trainings on how you can, you know, increase your media buying skills so that your clients don't actually end up leaving you uh, because the results aren't there. So rather than all these videos on outreach, 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 we actually showed you guys, you know, um, how to make sure that your clients stay with you for longer so that you don't need to be constantly in the trenches doing the outreach over and over again. With that said, we also discovered uh, or discovered we discussed paid traffic, so how you can actually run ads for your own agency. So uh, the challenge was a great success. Um, you know, we had a lot of people join, a lot of people uh, enjoy the content as well. We got a lot of positive feedback and we might even be doing it again um, in January. So stay tuned for that. But with regards to the flow with Ecom, let me just uh, briefly map it out for you guys. So obviously you've got your advertisements on the front end, right? So you're driving traffic to the store. Then when they land on the store, um, and this, what, you know what, actually, you know what we'll do? Just quick little side note. We'll actually get up a store so we can show you guys, um, you know, like more in real time what, what this would look like. So let me just see if we can find one. Home Depot, no, that's, that's uh, not. Basically, what I want to find now is an actual dropship store that sells this Galaxy Lighting. Um, let me see. Camera Express, Amazon, Light in the Box. Surely there's a, unless I've spelt it wrong or something, unless there's another word for it. Galaxy Star Projector Light, maybe that will make it easier to find. Um, Wish Spectra Light, let me see if that's the one. If it is, then we just use that. Yeah, I. I it reloaded for some reason, but I think that's the same. Yeah, 
Okay, so this is our fictional client. Okay, guys, so this is the website that we're going for. Please, please make this. Yes, okay, so it's Shopify. So what I use, I use the Wappalizer tool to, sh to see if it's, um, if it's Shopify or not. With you know our agency, we only actually take on Shopify clients nowadays. So I always check that and with Shopify, more often than not, the tracking, if they've set it up correctly through Facebook, is set up correctly as well. And funny enough, they've also got Hotjar set up, which for those that don't know is a heat map. So that means that they're basically tracking you know, what I'm doing on the website. So if you spend a lot of time, let's say here, then you know these guys will probably think that we're trying to find a lot of information about uh, the Galaxy Star projector, and they'll probably you know map out uh, or restructure their entire uh, page to you know basically make changes based on what I'm doing. But anyway, uh, what I'll also do is I'll switch off the ad blocker and then switch off this second ad blocker as well. No idea why I've got two. I've just always got two for some reason. And you've got the pixel set up correctly, which is great. So what we're going to do or what we should do when we drive traffic to the store is get people onto the landing page or web page. Okay. Then from there, as soon as someone is on the page, you know, the, it's targeted traffic. So the people that were targeting will go onto the web page. And then if they find the interest in what they see, then they will view content. Okay. So they view the product. If they find the product interesting, they will add to cart. Then of course, if you add to cart, you are eventually going to check out, at least you know, if you're serious about it. So you initiate the checkout, and then once you initiate checkout, you add your payment details, you, you, you sign your life away, etc. you end up making a purchase. Then from there, as a marketer, there's two other metrics that you wanna know, is purchase conversion value, which basically is the revenue that you've generated through Facebook, and of course, the return on ad spend. So hypothetically speaking, let's say we spend 50 on ads. The product is 100 and we get one purchase. That means that our purchase conversion value is uh, 100 because that is the price of the product. And then our return on ad spend is two. Why? Because we spent 50 on the ads and the price of the product was 100. Okay, so that is basically what those two uh, metrics mean. So this is what the basically this video series is going to be about. Hope you you know found this useful. In the next video, we'll be setting up the funnel and the events, third video campaign ad set, and in the fourth video, uh, the actual advertisements. And I'll show you guys how to set up the middle of the funnel. So this was the end of part one of the Watch Me Build, a Facebook campaign for e-com clients. This will be, like I said, part one of a four-part series. And if you want to know more about how to get started with social media marketing, how to get results for your clients and so on and so forth, there are basically two things you can do. Number one is the free route, if you will, uh, where you can basically request access to my free lifestyle design community. Is a Facebook group uh, on Facebook, of course, where uh, I have a beginner's course on how you can get started with social media marketing. I teach the Upwork business model, which is uh, basically a business model that you know a lot of the gurus out there actually charge good money for. It's all free in my free Facebook group. Or if you wanna know if I can help out in any way, shape or form, what you can also do is uh, basically schedule a free call with me or someone on my team. And it's basically just a very chilled out chat uh, just to see you know, if you're a good fit for me, for you know, um, basically my coaching program, and if I'm a right fit for you, right? Because it needs to click, you know, it's quite an intensive program. You get personal access to me and vice versa. Um, and you know, like I said, it's, it's for me, I need to also understand and know that you are coachable, if you get me. You know, I can take you to the next level, but if you are not a right fit in terms of, you know, your personality, your drive, etc., then there's just no point in working together. So that is the end of part one. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do more videos like this. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all for part two.